Welcome. Today we'll be looking at chromatography. That's a hard one. Chromatography. Okay, chromatography is something uh, we can uh, do at home, which is uh, quite wonderful because we are at home now in COVID-19 time. So we'll be doing a um, home lab. We'll do a practical at home. And um, this is a how-to video, how to set up the lab and what to do and what to don't. First of all, I'll explain in this video um, what I would like to receive from you yeah, because this video is for my three HAVO TTO students and it's an assignment yeah, what to film in this practical. The first scene is a scene in which uh, you have laid out all the items on the table just like I have. I will show you. Uh, I have my book in which the topic is explained and I have a can, I have a one sheet of toilet paper, two wooden pegs, a saute, wooden saute, um, yeah, a peg, four non-permanent markers and I have a mobile phone with, I have a mobile phone with a stop motion app. Right, so the items are on the table and they are shown. Yeah, um, and then I will um, show you how we make the setup. I made a setup and as you can see, um, I got some water and I have the materials with me. So first I'm gonna make on the table, that's not the plan. It is important that my markers are non-permanent, right? They need to be non-permanent markers. Because if they're permanent, they will stick. Uh oh, they will stick to the, um, to the paper. And I only need them to stick to the paper just a, just enough, just a wee bit. Right, wooden pegs, wooden pegs. In my case, wooden, but of course you can use plastic. Then, um, yeah, I hung up uh, my sheet of toilet paper over the edge, carefully placing it, carefully placing it in the container and now the tricky part, pouring water, while not splashing the water on my sheet of paper. Now the other trick is, as you can see, the water needs to touch the paper, but um, not it needs uh, not touch the four uh, color the markers. And what you can see happening now is that the colorant is moving up. It's moving up with my water. It's a pretty cool sight. What I also see is that the red marker is not moving at all. Yeah, that stays where it is. Pretty cool. Now, this needs to, this needs to uh, stay for um, a little while. Yeah, a couple of minutes and after that I will get the sheet of paper out and show you my results. Okay, so see you back in a minute or so. Very carefully 
I'll take it out of the water and you can see the result you can see the result quite clearly I find it pretty cool I find it pretty cool to see that um, the four colorants, the four markers that I used and they have a completely different um, they have a completely different um, end result now I can see that three of my markers yeah, uh, and that'll be a conclusion are clearly dissolvable in water right because they have moved with the water upwards in my piece of paper a sheet of toilet paper the red one a whiteboard marker yeah it says dry erase marker yeah a dry erase marker um, it's clearly not dissolvable in water because the red mark stays where it's set I can also see that my black marker is actually not all the way black because I can see at the edge that my black marker has some blue in it which is quite interesting I think so my black marker yeah, bought at the HEMA is uh, a marker that has some blue in it as well and the other two uh, the, 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 the three colored markers that have moved up they have moved up equally far despite the fact that they were four different markers altogether so this is my uh, this is my end result this is the process of chromato chromatography chromatography sorry yeah it's a hard it keeps keeps being a hard word chromatography and um, yeah this is my end result so if you dry it yeah if you dry it then um, it keeps for long yeah maybe it's a, a fun thing uh, to do um, right that's it this is your assignment to do uh, to do it the same way uh, I did uh, I don't know whether you have the same setup I do right I have two cameras right um, picture in picture I don't know whether you're capable of doing all that but I'd like you to be uh, visible in the camera while you're doing this yeah because I'd like to see that it's your uh, result and I would like you uh, to make pairs to make pairs with another student and if you make pairs with another student yeah you can um, for example change yeah the markers you can test different markers different colors and you can test uh, maybe different uh, toilet paper yeah I love to see your videos I won't post them on YouTube though yeah thanks